It's a disease of a certain cell of the bone marrow called the, the plasma cell and it's one of a number of different cells that live in the bone marrow and when the plasma cell becomes cancerous that's called multiple myeloma and the the way that plasma cells cause problems for the body is that they tend to cause three things primarily one is they destroy the bone so patients can have very thin bones and patients can have severe bone destruction that can cause sudden breakage of bones sudden collapse of the spine Bone marrow is injured and patients develop severe anemia. Often the kidneys are damaged by the plasma cells, products of the plasma cells, and many patients have permanent kidney damage and it's not uncommon for patients to be permanently on dialysis after they develop multiple myeloma. And finally, uh, multiple myeloma causes high calcium, primarily from destruction of the bone. Uh, and that can make people confused and very sleepy. So we believe now that most patients, if, if not all, go through a stage of a condition called MGUS, which precedes all multiple myeloma. And it's a very early non-cancerous form that in some patients leads to the full-blown cancer. In most patients, they never get multiple myeloma. The second stage would be called, there's two names for it, smoldering myeloma or asymptomatic myeloma. That's also not the full-blown cancer and does not require treatment. And then finally, full-blown multiple myeloma where there is damage to the body and treatment is required. This is considered to be a relatively uncommon cancer. 22,000 patients a year diagnosed in the U.S. annually. But it is still a fairly common cancer, uh, particularly in the hematologic or blood cancers group. Everyone is at risk with multiple myeloma, but particularly older patients. The common age for developing multiple myeloma is 70.